The Lord of the Rings Online is a massive game currently celebrating its 14th anniversary, and for new players, the game can definitely feel a bit overwhelming. In these videos I will try to help new players that are just getting started in the game by explaining things that I myself missed when starting out. Let's get started. Today we are going to talk about deeds. Deeds are a sort of achievement that you will discover as you play through the game. When playing, you will come across landmarks that activate explorer deeds, kill enemies that activate slayer deeds, use abilities that activate class deeds, and reputation deeds that activate when you earn reputation with factions. There are more deeds available in the game, associated with different emotes, events, quests and more, but the three most important categories that you should pay attention to when starting out are the class deeds, slayer deeds and exploration deeds. The reason for this is that two of these three types of deeds, slayer and explorer deeds, will award you with virtue experience points. Virtue experience is what is used to level up your virtues. I made a video on it and there is a link to it in the top right corner if you are interested in watching it. The third kind of deed, class deeds, will award you with class trait points, which will be important later down the line, so you might as well start working on them right away. Deeds are also how you acquire Lotro points in the game, and there are a lot of people who grind them to get the points without spending any money. To view your deeds, you have to open the deed log. You can open the deed log by pressing Shift L. As soon as you open the log, you will be greeted by the class deeds page. If you have started using certain abilities already when playing, there will be a list of deeds for you to take a look at. By clicking at the deed you will get information about what you need to do to complete it and also what rewards completing it will bring you. The deed log is divided into different tabs that are shown at the top of the window. You have the Class Race Epic tab, the different parts of the world tabs like Eriador, Ravanion, Gondor and Mordor, you have the War tab, the Hobbies tab, and the Instance and Skirmishes tabs. At the bottom of the window you have subcategories to the tabs. The Class Race Epic tab divides the Class Race and Epic Deeds, the World tabs divide by all the zones that are located in that part of the world, the War, which is the player versus monster PvP system that Lotro has, divides between Common, Oskiliath and the Ettermores, the Instances divide between the Instance clusters, and the skirmishes divide between the instances themselves and the lieutenants you can encounter in them. And then on hobbies there is fishing. Just fishing. You can easily see if a part of a deed is completed by checking the color of the wax stamps. If a stamp is red, that part is completed, and if the stamp is grey, it's uncompleted. You can also see what deeds you have already completed by ticking the completed box. By doing so you will only see your completed deeds. You can also use the Add to Tracker function to add a deed to the quest tracker. When doing so, the deed will take up a slot from a tracked quest, so keep that in mind. By completing these deeds you will also be awarded with Lotro points, titles and reputation experience. We will talk more about reputation in another video. Let's summarize this information into three easy to remember steps. Step 1. Focus on your class deeds, explorer deeds and slayer deeds. Step 2. The virtue experience and the class trait points is what is most important to you in the beginning. And step 3. You can add deeds to your quest tracker to keep an eye on your deed progression more easily. If you follow these steps you are really going to make it easier for yourself further down the line and you will hopefully not have to go back to old zones once you are at a higher level to grind deeds for virtue experience and class trait points. Thank you for watching and make sure to keep an eye out for more videos like this one. Until next time, take care.